Hello again. In this video, what I'm going to do is add a plugin to our WordPress demo site. So I'm going to show you how to search for plugins, how to add a plugin. And in this case, what I'm going to do is add a plugin that displays videos from either YouTube or Vimeo called TubePress. Great plugin. It's a good way to leverage on your assets, in this case video, and have them display on your site. So what I'm going to do is from the dashboard, move down to plugins. Um, you'll notice from the menu items I can go plugin, add new, or the editor. The editor is where I can actually modify plugins if I were a coder. I'm definitely not going there. We'll go to the top level plugin so you can see what the plugin page looks like if you haven't seen it already. This just shows the plugins that I currently have, the ones that are activated, not activated. Um, I'm going to select add new at the top now. Now from here I can upload a plugin. So if I were to have purchased a commercial plugin, I could upload it just like I can themes. I can search by featured plugins, the most popular plugins, the newest plugin plugins, and the ones that have been recently updated. Important to know when you're looking at plugins, you definitely want to look at number one, the history of the plugin, how long has it been out there, and then how active has it been. You know, are they are they putting out updates every three to four months is probably a good rule of thumb. Is there good support involved if you go to the, the plugin site? Is there activity going on there that indicates that this is going to be a, a plugin that you can use for a long time and not have to worry about it breaking on you? And there's a lot of them out there. Just keep in mind there's 14,000 plugins in the WordPress repository now. So some, some are going to be old, some are going to be outdated. You, know, you just have to kind of keep an eye on that. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just search for a specific plugin because I already know what I want. So I'm going to just uh, type in TubePress. It's going to take me here. I already know, again, the name of the, the plugin I wanted. I could actually search for functionality. Let's say I wanted YouTube video player. I could have typed that in and then gone through a few. Had I done that, I'd want to look at the details of each one and then uh, look across here. The installation tells me how to install it. Screenshots, it shows me what it'll look like on my site. And then uh, the change log. So the change log is what I was just talking about. It says how active this plugin is. And this one's been around for a while. Very active. You'll notice going all the way back um, to version 0.1 on the initial release. Unfortunately it doesn't have dates here, but you can see it's very active and the most recent update was 21 days ago. Um, it also says it requires version 2.2 or higher. In most cases it'll tell you if it is um, functional for the version of WordPress that you're using. So you always want to look at those things. In this case I want to just go ahead and install it and we'll install it right from here. And then once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and select Activate Plugin. This particular plugin has a Settings um, tab or an Options tab underneath the Settings. This varies from plugin to plugin. Some of them will create their own menu item. Some of them can actually be under Tools or under Plugins. Um, they, they all have a little different way of doing that. So in this case, it actually goes under Settings. So we're going to select TubePress and go to the Options page of TubePress. You'll notice it's active for both YouTube and Vimeo. Um, it, I can adjust the appearance and really get into this plugin quite a bit. I'm not going to do too much of that for this video. What I'm going to do though is I want to use all the videos from a specific YouTube user, which will be the channel. So I'm going to select that and I've already gone to my on to YouTube and I'm going to use the Dela Trend VSEO channel. Got a couple channels going. So we'll move back over here and we're going to paste that in here and I'm going to save. Now I need to add this to a page. And I'm going to add it to a new page and we're going to call it video page. Okay, and now I happen to know that the uh, short code for just the basic two press is just that, it's two press. 
And a short code, uh, if since we haven't covered that yet, is brackets, the square brackets with a specific set of parameters in the middle. Very similar to the way a URL would work. Um, in this case, it's just TubePress. And sh short codes you'll see quite a bit as you use WordPress. So we're going to select Update and Publish, and we'll view that page. And now I've got all my YouTube videos ready to play. And the nice thing about this is as we select each of these it moves right to the top. It leaves the consumer on the page um, which is pretty slick. And now I've, I, if you'll notice it's not in my menu um, like we did in the last video so I'll have to go back and add that. But That's how you add TubePress to your site so you can display video. Uh, just as a side note, keep in mind because it is pulling directly from that YouTube channel, all I have to do is add more videos to the channel and the videos will automatically be displayed here. Thank you much. Have a great day.